This video will cover the installation of Philwright's Digital Inline Turbine Meter. We will be installing Philwright's Digital Inline Meter in two different positions, at the pump and at the nozzle. Depending on your fuel transfer system, you will need to purchase the appropriate plumbing to attach your meter. If your fuel transfer system uses 1-inch plumbing, you will not need to use the provided reducer bushings. If your fuel transfer system uses 3 quarter inch plumbing, you will need to use the provided reducer bushings. To install these, simply apply thread sealant to both and thread them into the inlet and outlet of the meter. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. First, identify the direction of flow in your system. The arrow on the underside of the meter must point in the same direction of flow. Once you identify the direction of flow and ensure the arrow is pointing the correct way, the display of the meter can be rotated 180 degrees based on user preference. To do this, simply remove the protective rubber boot from the meter, then remove the four screws from the corners of the meter. Remove the display module and rotate it 180 degrees. Make sure the foam pad under the batteries is reinstalled correctly if it falls out. Then reinstall the four screws in the corners of the meter. Finally, replace the rubber boot and the meter is ready to be installed. In this system, we will be installing the meter at the pump. You will need to purchase a pipe nipple for this installation. We will be using a 1 inch by 6 inch pipe nipple. On the outlet of the pump, we have a street elbow. Apply thread sealant to both ends of the pipe nipple. Thread the pipe nipple into the street elbow. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. Then check that your meter is aligned correctly with the direction of flow and screw the meter onto the pipe nipple. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. Then install your choice of plumbing to the outlet of the meter, applying thread sealant at all connections. We will install a hose, then the nozzle to the outlet of the meter. In this system, we will be installing the meter at the nozzle. You will need to purchase a pipe nipple for this installation. We will be using a 1 inch by 3 inch pipe nipple. On the outlet of the pump, we have a street elbow and hose installed already. Apply thread sealant at the end of the hose and screw the meter directly on. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. Apply thread sealant to both ends of the pipe nipple and thread it into the outlet of the meter. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. Finally, you can install your nozzle to the other end of the pipe nipple. Hand tighten, then use a wrench to secure. Thank you for watching this Fill Right installation video.